What's poppin YouTube welcome back to my channel Guys in today's video as you guys can see on the title We are gonna be cleaning The crested geckos today and I bought a few things for the baby Crested gecko, so I'm super excited to show you guys. I'm about to set y'all up so y'all can see the first one that I'm working with and then we're gonna be working with that big one over there. So first, let's get the little one out the way. Okay guys, so um, I bought a few things and there's still a lot more things that I need to buy for this cute little baby, but I am going to introduce you to it and the reason why I say it is because it's still not old enough to know, like for me to know if it's a male or female. So, it's okay. See if the camera will focus. There you go. This is the cute little baby. Still has his nice little healthy tail. So yeah guys. This is it. And usually, I mean, I don't really have a name for them until I know if it's a female or a male. So I just like to wait a little bit. It's like a little cream color. It's super cute. I love it so much. I had it since it was like, literally, I kid you not. Look, maybe like, okay, hold on mister. Maybe like, um, I want to say maybe like, from the head. I'll show you guys, I'll try to show you guys. Maybe from like, the head to like, watch, to like right about there. Like tiny, it was really, really tiny. And now, look at her or him. Super cute. I love it so much. I don't know. Thumbnail. But let's put this little guy or little girl back in there. So as of now, I only have this little plant right here. So, and another little piece of plant here. And like a bamboo stick. And then this little magnetic for the food. But... We bought some upgrades today. But one segundo, I need to get something. This is, so whenever I go to the uh, reptile shop, I always ask them, you know, what they recommend and all these things, you know. Because usually they give me pretty good things to work with. So this is what I use. I don't know if it'll focus, but this is what I use to um, clean like the, the windows and stuff. Um, and it's not harmful for them. So... I'm actually gonna get started with that because there's just like a little bit of um a little bit of like poop and stuff like that but it's okay we'll figure it out so i'm gonna go ahead and spray some on here and then i'm gonna open it because the window here is a little bit dirty because i think he might have like or she might have peed i don't know honestly guys i don't know why i have a feeling that it's gonna be a male which i don't really care if it's a male or female I'm just saying like I have a feeling. So we want to make sure that we get all that nasty stuff out. Because you want to make sure that their area is kept nice and clean and disinfected and everything. It didn't really make a lot of a mess. A lot. So we are good to go. But basically this is what it's looking like. See that? It's not much in there so and I know trust me I know that these animals require a lot of foliage places to hide where they feel comfortable and everything so I'm gonna go ahead and put up what I have as of now and then I'm gonna order some stuff on Amazon because I went to PetSmart Petco to the reptile store and um they didn't really have like nice foliage and I don't just want to buy something just to buy it out of the random so I want to make sure that I get you know according to how I want it to look so I'll show you guys we have this little stick thing that I got and I need to cut it I need to get some scissors so I'll be right back I just need to close this so he don't get out okay now we're gonna go ahead and cut this off 
And the cool thing about the reptile place, they have like a paper, right? And they have like different color um, little bands. Like the orange ones are like five bucks. So like this thing was like five bucks. There's green ones that are like ten bucks, red ones, so forth and, and so forth. And I do have this little bamboo stick in here. But we're going to change it up today. I just need to kind of play around with it a little bit to kind of like figure out. See where I want it to be. And I'm probably going to go ahead and bring you guys down just so you guys can see. So, as you can see, so this one, it'll be like a little hide for him to go in. And then he can climb up here. And then, in this box, I have some more little plants and whatnot that I'm going to put up here so we can put it in there. And then, this vine that we're going to add in there as well as this which I thought was pretty cool it has for the food and for the water so I thought that, that would make it look even cuter and this one I thought this was pretty cool perfect so we're gonna definitely go ahead and add that in there I just need to play around with it a little bit and like kind of figure out this wasn't too bad it was 20 bucks so I don't think it was too bad and again, it can be, um, I'm thinking of kind of like placing it upward or whatnot. And he can still, or she can go in here and still hide. So, I thought that that would be perfect. This is what we have so far. I'm still kind of playing with it. I don't know how I like it. I'm kind of digging the way that the um, skull is placed and stuff. And then I have this right here. He can climb on there. I don't know. Comment down below what you think. And if you're going to comment, Jessica, it needs more foliage. Yes, I know that. I know that, I know that, I know that. And like I said, I'm going to be ordering some more. But, look at him. He's just watching. He's probably like, girl, what is you doing to my place? What is that scary skull? Is it going to eat me? No, buddy. That is going to help you hide. If you want to hide. See, that kind of creates a little corner for for it to hide. And then we'll probably add this one. Let me see. Something like that. Like if it's like growing out of the skull. Up in there. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm digging it. It's looking pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. So this is what I have. Let me know what y'all think. I honestly think it's pretty cool. Because it can hide right behind in here. There's a little hole. It can hide in here. It can hide back there. I mean, obviously, until I get, um, just until I order more of the foliage online. I think it looks pretty good for now. Another thumbnail. But, I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I want to add more color. I don't want to just keep it, like brown and green like i want to get foliage that has like maybe like a pink in there i don't know like a blue in there just so that way it has like a little bit of color to it 
but I'm excited to open up this bad boy. Okay, so I think it came out perfect for the time being. It's time to show y'all. guys comment down below tell me what you guys think of the setup for now um i think it's i think it came out amazing honestly i ain't gonna lie i'm really digging the skull i'm in love with it like guys check that out it looks beautiful for some reason it looks like even though there's like obviously there's a skull that, you know, it's dead, obviously. But there's, like, plants that looks like it's, like, growing out of it. Like, there's still life type stuff. And then look at them. I think, honestly, I think it's a boy. I ain't gonna lie, but. Oh, no. Look at little Timmy. Little Timmy is exploring his new home. Well, his upgrade. I think it's amazing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for part two. Part two of this video is going to be taking over that big old tank over there. Cleaning it up. Setting it up. Seeing what needs to be thrown out that's old already. And, of course, adding new things. Um, buying new stuff for it. Everything it is time for them to have an upgrade. This one already had an upgrade on its tank Now we are hooking his tank up and now it's the other turns the other guys turn so say bye to little Timmy for now And other than that guys, it's been your girl Jess and I'm